ഹലോ ഡിയർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഫിസിക്സ് സെൻറ്റർ ടുഡേ ലെറ്റ് സ്റ്റഡി വോട്ട് ഈസ് ഹൈഡ്രോ ഡൈനാമിക്സ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ലെറ്റ്സ് ഫേസ്റ്റ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വോട്ട് ആർ ഫ്ലൂയിഡ്സ് ഫ്ലൂയിഡ്സ് ആർ ദ സബ്സ്റ്റൻസസ് ദാറ്റ് ഹാസ് ദ എബിലിറ്റി ടു ഫ്ലോ ലെറ്റ്സ് മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് മോർ ക്ലിയർ വിത്ത് ദ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് സം എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് two such examples of fluids are liquid and gases can you name any other examples just think about it okay i'll give two more examples for fluids nuclear matter and plasma first of all liquids liquids are obviously something that can flow therefore they are fluids in lower classes we have studied many properties of liquids here let's look about its compressibility are liquids compressible liquids are incompressible since the intermolecular space between the particles is very less they can be made compressible on applying high pressure so let's call them nearly incompressible now moving on to gases gases are also substances that flows therefore they are also fluids what about their compressibility since the intermolecular space between the particles is very large in gases they can be compressed easily so we can say they are highly compressible now let's look what are nuclear matter and plasma Nuclear matter is a matter where only nucleons exist. Protons and neutrons are collectively called nucleons. So only nucleons exist without electron as in neutron stars. Now plasma. Plasma is a mixture of negative and positive charges moving around in a random manner. Now moving on to next topic. fluid dynamics fluid dynamics is a study of flow of compressible fluids that is gases and nearly incompressible fluids that is liquids now moving on to our topic hydrodynamics hydrodynamics deals with the flow of nearly incompressible fluids that is liquids Fluid dynamics was the study of flow of both liquids and gases. Here, our hydrodynamics is a study of flow of only liquids. So, that was an introduction about hydrodynamics. I hope the concept is clear. Thank you.